but you got old weather beaten wood siding uh, I wanted to do a quick tutorial um, I don't have a helper with me so I'm not gonna be able to paint and go on a ladder and videotape what I'm doing at the same time I mean you'll find plenty of tutorials I'm sure online uh, about painting staining etc just want to give you the general idea another problem you could solve at home on your own uh, this wood as you can see is in quite quite disrepair I mean some of it should be uh, I should screw in some of them and I might go back uh, after I stain them and fix some of the loose boards that's really the proper way of doing things today was the day I picked to do the staining so I'm off uh, but you basically want to look uh, all the edges you want to do with a brush I'm going to attempt that now and that's what I'm up to um, brush all the edges and around this window you go around that window uh, doing this this uh, fascias you want to do all that with a brush as nice as you can come in a little bit enough where you can hit it with a roller and uh, you'll see what the finished result is but uh, it's really not that hard and I'm thinking it's it might be a gallon and a half maybe a stain so it's really cost effective and you'll see a big difference as well as making it last probably another five ten years coming along this is the most tedious and time consuming part of the whole job take your time cut around all the edges do a good job and then uh, once you get rolling literally rolling with the roller uh, then things really start to come together it doesn't look like much but this is how it's going to look when it's all cut in again it's tedious work it's a little difficult to see but all the edges are painted and covered entirely leaves you just the middle to roll and rolling's much faster hopefully uh, the roll will cover all of the gaps and even underneath each of these uh, wood paneling boards so I'm going to do that next yeah so the plan was to roll the whole rest of the home uh, after doing the cutting but as luck would have it the boards uh, were not I actually underestimated the amount of decay uh, or warping from the years of neglect um, the boards were just bare wood no protection at all this is one coat of the exterior stain um, and I'm, I'm shot uh, it definitely was uh, a lot of work I wound up having to brush it um, but it was a gallon and a half so for about probably 60 bucks you know it changed the whole look of the house um, add value and if I feel up to it I might do another coat it probably could use it but uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the single coat I mean the idea is to get the wood protected and it is this is the next day uh, you can see a lot better now I guess how we did uh, after the stain dried the one coat coverage uh, although I'm happy it, it did you know uh, accomplish the goal covering all the wood sealing it um, you can see there are some spots wood soaked up the stain more some boards more than others uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna need to do another coat the second coat usually uses less stain and a little bit uh, you know a little bit easier because you already have a base coat so it won't suck up as much um, but it's still the same amount of effort so it's uh, a little bit of uh, sweat and elbow grease but it's uh, it's worth it when everything's said and done I did ultimately decide to do a uh, second coat definitely was the right decision a lot more work uh, not too much more in price probably the whole job uh, wound up being about two gallons probably two gallons and a little bit more out of the third so uh you know i put it on pretty liberally and you could get away with probably two gallons in this size area um and this wood was horrible 
Um, it definitely soaked up like a sponge, but you could see the difference. Uh, so for about 80 bucks, I'd say, um, you know, and a little bit of time and effort and elbow grease, um, you could solve that problem yourself. Uh, take your time, use good brushes, good materials, and, uh, and uh, you'll be happy with the results. See you next time. Thanks again for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow, whatever you do. You can really see how much better the two coats look in the sun. I'll go back around now and uh, just hit the trim nice with the white, semi-gloss white exterior. And uh, that should do it. As you can see, here's the finished product. Nice, fresh, looks good as new. Almost looks professional. It's worth the time and effort. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Comment, like, subscribe, uh, follow back. Keep watching. There'll be plenty more problems to solve. Thanks again. Later.